Next morning, the engines were glad to see Tom back again. But he looked very sad. Postmaster decided my van was too expensive to run. The rounds take longer on my bike. I'm sorry, I can't stop to help you. I wish I could cheer Tom Tipper up, sighed Percy, the small engine. He was just wondering how this might be done when his thoughts were rudely interrupted. A man was shouting at Tom Tipper. You've got to come back to the Fat Controller's office. He needs you to sign some important papers right away. Oh dear, replied Tom Tipper. This is going to make me later still. He was in a hurry and being careless. He propped his bike against Percy's mail truck and rushed away. Stop, cried Percy, but Tom was out of sight. There was worse to come. Percy's driver hadn't seen the bike and he started away. Oh no, cried Percy, now there'll be trouble. And there was. Percy's driver quickly stopped the train. Everyone came running to the scene. Tom Tipper's bicycle was in pieces. I'm sorry, Mr. Tipper, apologised Percy. Never mind, Percy, said the postman. It wasn't your fault, but now I've only got my legs to get the mail delivered. Whatever will happen next, Tom Tipper soon found out. Next day, he was waiting happily for Percy. Beep, beep, whistled Percy. Is that a smart new van, I see? It is indeed. That accident did me a good turn, Percy. My chief decided a new van would do the job. Much better than another bike and worth the expense. Now, I can always be on time again. So I did help. Beam Percy, but by accident as you might say.